I got introduced to everything at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Um, I started smoking weed at like age 10 and, um, age 10. Um, and it was my best friend's dad who, yeah. Um, and one time my, my mom was in the hospital and, uh, I knew that she smoked weed because I could mm-hmm. smell it. So I went in there, tried to find some, found something else, didn't know what it was, took it to the older friends. Um, they gave me money for it. And uh, that night, I spent the night at a friend's house, and um, I woke up, and all of them were acting really weird. I'm like, what is going on? They're like, try this. I was like, oh, well, thank you, not for me. Uh, three more times, peer pressure kicked in, and I tried meth for the first time at age 11. And... Uh, my life changed forever at that at that point, man. That was the thing you got from your mom. Uh, kind of coming to find out, that's what uh, that I got from my mom. Uh, now that I know everybody who was involved in my life, mm-hmm. down to my babysitter, down to the lady who cut my hair, anybody who was involved that my mom brought around that was an adult, she was the dealer on the block, and she was dealing to all of these individuals. Your mom was a supplier. Yes. Got it. Yes. Okay. So, right, pretty early in your life, you said you were using it, I mean, and, and it changed your life. Mm-hmm. In what ways did this change your life? Um, when I first started out, it was, uh, I felt like Superman, invincible and ready to take on the world and very confident in everything that I was doing. But it, it robbed me of my childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, being addicted to uh, a hard drug at such a young age, you can't go get a job uh, to be able to supply your habit. So you have to come up with creative ways to, uh, make money. Yeah. We're pretty hard to fund that. (laughs) Yes. Legally. Um, so, uh, I was still, I mean, uh, I was in and out juvenile every summer from, uh, age like 12 to 18. Every Mm -hmm. summer I would go to juvenile. I spent probably six fourth of July's, um, locked in a cell as a juvenile. Um, so that's why I celebrate it heavily now. And uh, I was still on the basketball team, still playing basketball, but I just wasn't doing hanging out with the, your normal crowd. So it definitely stripped me of my childhood because you come an adult really quick mm-hmm. with the people that you're associating with to get drugs and you, the creative ways you come up with making money to get those drugs. Yeah. Look, guys, I'm looking at the analytics and half of you guys are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button right now.